Hello and welcome to Chili Bee Gaming. I'm Evie and today we're back with some more Starfield. Now last time we returned to New Atlantis and we confronted Francois Sanon, i.e. V. Victus, and um, he admitted that he and that Orlace fella that we killed, they orchestrated the Terramorph attacks and um, we basically said to him, look, this ain't good dude, you know. We went up to speak to Hadrian and Percival and we told them the truth about Ve Victus, that he was alive, and we agreed to tell the council about his involvement. Uh, we then agreed with the council to use the Silies to get rid of the Terramorphs and to eliminate the fungus that we were supposed to get rid of. And then we were given a new apartment, so we went and explored that, and then we came here to the lodge and had a chat with Sarah, who basically just wanted to talk to us about all the stuff that we've been up to, which... Nice as it is, I don't really care. <laughs> Bad as that sounds. So, let's get into it. Shoop. All right. Now, I know Andreja wanted to have a chat about something, but where has she gone? Andreja, where did you go, my dear? There she is. Hey there. All right. It is a relief to know that the Terramorphs are being dealt with. Certainly is, God. But are you sure this Asilis creature is the right way to do it? <sighs> yeah, slow and steady wins the race. I think the 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 microbe. I think it'd just be too much. You know, it'd be too much. I think, and it could evolve. This is it. It could evolve, and it could end up in causing something else to happen. So, we're just helping nature take its course. This would be the same nature that gave us Terramorphs in the first place. Well... I do not think this is the path I would have chosen. One could easily argue that humans are the superior hunter and therefore are right to exterminate these creatures. The microbes would have put fewer people at risk in the long run. Nah, I don't think so. <sighs> we'll just have to agree to disagree. I suppose we shall. Yeah. Not that it matters, since the decision was made. Yeah. I will say, though, that I am glad you convinced them to destroy the Lazarus plant. Yeah, the Lazarus fungus, that's what it was called. <sighs> yeah, no one can be trusted. Indeed. The United Colonies hardly has the best record in that area. No. Well, it is good to know that this particular threat is behind us, and you have done a service to all who live in the settled systems. Good. All right. Well, Andreja, not very, not very happy about us using the Asilis, but do you know what? Do you know what? I think, I think, um, I think it's okay to do so. I, I'd rather, I'd rather take the slow and steady route than the brash, rush it kind of route, if you know what I mean. I think. Right. Anyway, let's let's see where we're going to go next. So, we could go and assist um, Percival with finding these samples that he's after. Hmm. Find the distress call in the Charibois system? Oh, is that an O or a D? Hmm, I don't know. Maybe... Hmm. You see, we could, we could start the Crimson Fleet stuff, couldn't we? Hmm. Maybe we should, you know. What? Spacer Scavenger. Oh, legendary ships, yes, we've got those to deal with as well. Maybe... No. We'll start the Crimson Fleet stuff, because why not? So... Circe? So, 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 I can't remember how you say it. Um, Sidonia. So we need to go to Sidonia. Okay. Well, that's... Yeah, we'll do that. We'll do that. All right, Andrea, Jill, we're, we're, we're going deep undercover, my dear. Deep undercover. Now, if I sound a little bit strange, I can only apologise. I have um, been to the dentist after work today and I had a filling. And obviously, to have the filling, they have to numb your gum, tooth, thing, whatever. And um, it makes your mouth a little bit weird. <laughs> oh, God. I can't even say words properly. It just feels weird. And it's very difficult to drink tea, which, as an English woman... I am insulted by. All right, so we need to go. This, what that Drake? Whoa! Are you all right? Andreja losing it there, losing the plot. 
All right, let's um, head out. Begin the Crimson Fleet missions, you dear. Know. Oh. oh dear. Maybe, but I'm not ready to start leaving just yet. That's fair enough. I don't know why I care. All right, let's uh, get on the old nat and um, go and begin our mission. Aha! And here we are at long last. I don't know why I have my weapon out. Can we put it away? If there you go. The Lux condos aren't anything special, but plenty of people call them home. Oh well. All right. Okay. So trade authority. I think we need to go to. Excuse me. Thank you. I wonder what happened to that dude that was roaming about in his underwear. Well, who can say? So we need to speak How's to it you. How's it going? Can I help you? In fact, we'll talk to you in a minute, dude. We're just um, conducting some business. All right. Hi there, uh, sir. Sir, say oh, I don't know how you say it. If you're here to buy or sell, you might want to talk to Octai. I'm busy. Um. Yeah, I'm looking to unload a sensitive shipment. And by sensitive, I'm guessing you mean something you don't want UC security sticking their noses into. I can probably help you with that. What have you got for me? Well, uh, I'm looking to sell off a shipment of Aurora. Whoa, way too hot for me. That stuff is nothing but bad news. Why don't you take your shipment and try somewhere else? If the Trade Authority is not interested, that says a great deal. It does. It does. Um. Hmm. Yeah, if you can't handle it, point me to somebody who can. Yeah. All I'm going to point at is the ceiling, with my middle finger. Get that stuff out of here before UC Security catches on. Of course, if there's a finder's fee you're offering, I might, well, bend the rules a little bit. Oh, here we go. All right. Thousand creds. Come on now. Um. Let's just pay a screw it. You know, it's funny. Suddenly, I do remember someone who might be able to unload that stuff for you. Shocking! Just demand the extra credits up front next time. These games are juvenile and tiresome. True. There's a buddy of mine who runs with the Crimson Fleet. Goes by the name Adler Kemp. Mm -hmm. If he isn't passed out, you can find him killing the rest of his brain cells at the Broken Spear. Oh, and uh, it's been a pleasure doing business with you. Mm. If I can. Do you suppose? Just in as a just as a thought. Any oh god. Just the just out of sheer sheer level. curiosity. Just sheer curiosity. Ugh, she only has sixty. What does she do with our thousand creds? That's my hey, question. Well, Alright. Hey, you looking for anything in particular? Cool. That's what we do here. Good. See you around. Yes, see you later. Right, so we need to go and find this dude now. And apparently he's a little bit of a drunkard. Which, well, could work in our favour, I suppose. Sorry, I did mm, Never mind. Whatever I thought I saw, I didn't see. Okay. Excuse I me. Hope this hearing loss isn't permanent. Yeah, you might want to get that checked out. Hey, dude. Can we uh, talk to you? Unless you're here to serve me another drink, you can turn around and walk away. Mmm, maybe. Yeah, Cersei? Cersei, maybe? I don't know. Bowden said you could help me move some of this stuff. Hey, why don't you say that a little louder? I don't think every single UC guard in Sedonia heard you. Uh, okay. Okay, yeah, I think we can help you with this. All right. If you've got a whole shipment of this stuff, you're going to need to move it fast. But you're going to have to do something for us first. And what's that, pray tell? Hmm. Um. Yeah. You're a clever one, aren't you? Let's just say I have a certain influential affiliation. Hmm. And leave it at that. Basically, you want that Aurora moved? I'm your guy. All right. Um. Fine, come. Right down to business. And no small talk. I like it. I see no good reason why we should have any extra dealings with the likes of you. Andreja. Lady, if you want me Easy. to move that shipment for your pal here, you're going to do whatever the hell I want. You got that? Now listen up. All right, Because I'm not going to repeat myself. 
I need you to deal with a miner who's racked up a bunch of debt. All right. He probably spent it all on booze, not that I blamed him. Either way, I want that money back. All right. Um, okay. Well, what's the... I'll just purpose it right now. How loud do you want this to be? What do I need to do here? Write you an instruction manual? You can do this loud. You can do this quiet. I don't care. I just want my goddamn money, and I want this guy to remember who he screwed over. Yeah. Perfect. I'm going to talk to him. I'm not going to kill His him. His name's Carl Fielding. Carl I Fielding. Oh my god. Wandering around the Demos Miners' quarters. All right. Don't worry. You can't miss him. Just look for the most miserable-looking guy in the entire place. Carl Fielding. Well, I know the name Carl Fielding. Hey, it's my personal I know it from um, Most Haunted show here in the UK. Ghost Haunted Ghost Show. I like things like that. Yes, I know a lot of people say, oh, it's fake and all that jazz. But you know what? It's entertaining. Hey. Um, how do we... Oh, it's down here, isn't it? I think. It's down here. Hello, sir. We need to talk. Good God, how many stairs? In here? Okay. Yeah, Carl Fielding. God. I haven't watched it in years. Okay. Yeah, you look kind of depressed, dude. Now I feel bad. Something I can help you with? Hmm. Um. I'm here to collect the credits you owe to Adler Kemp. Adler Kemp? Mm hmm. Who the heck is that? <sighs> Adler is serious about this debt, so I suggest you pay quickly. Adler, you said? Uh, nope. I think you have me mixed up with someone else. Dude. Uh, look, I'm tired. It's been a long day in the mines. I just want to go home, wash off the dust, and relax. This has been fun, though. Excuse me. Well, it's been nice knowing you. I'm sure your funeral will be lovely. Or should we say, I'll go back and I'll tell Adler Adl that you said that, yeah. Adler, uh, Adler, Adler. Oh, wait, you mean that Adler? Interesting. Yeah, sorry. I thought you were talking about someone else. Because it's such I told a common him I'd day. I pay up next week when Demos cuts our next profit share check. I'll even bring it to him personally. Hmm? Sound good? Yeah? Mm, unfortunately, no, dude. He's not going to be satisfied with that option, I'm afraid. Uh, well, I mean, he doesn't really have a choice. Well... Look, I haven't got a single credit to spare right now, okay? He can't squeeze blood from a stone. You know? Right? Clearly this man has never seen how hard I can squeeze. Oh, I'm crazy. That's a little... That's a little, um... Hmm. Yeah, I'm tired of playing these games. Come on, dude. What games? Why are you doing this to me? I don't have the money. Oh, good lord. Is it really worth the risk? You could just make the money back later, yeah. Sure. I, I guess I, I could ask for a seven-day shift. I don't know. I mean... Oof. Adler will hurt you. He will. I can promise you that. I guess I'm only putting off the inevitable. Yep. Please. Tell Adler I'm sorry for trying to wiggle out of the debt. I didn't have much of a choice. What is on your mind at this moment? Um, we just got the credits without hurting anybody. Okay, let's go. Um, can we, can we, excuse me, can I just, yeah, thank you. That was remarkably easy. I guess, um, I just give off that vibe of, you know, I will shoot you in the face. No, I wouldn't have. I'd have persuaded him somehow. I'd have probably lent him the money, let's be real. You're just a fool who 
borrowed money from the wrong person. And then tried to claim he didn't. Ridiculous. Alright. Um, excuse me, folks. What, Mars in fact, do we have any bounties? Which means Is it gonna that one? Money. Aha! Here we go. Tackers Alliance. Neon Bounty. Can I just pay it? Oh, hey! There you go. We're bounty free. Love it. They wanted to do that for a while. Alright, hey, dude! Have something for me? Surely do, sir. There you go. There. Would you look at that? I knew that bum was holding out on me. Well, it's all right. He now. going to be a problem anymore? Or did he get the message? No, no, he got it. He got it. Nice, nice. You're kind of a natural at this. Leaning on deadbeats comes easy to you. I like that. I don't know if I go that far. You know, if you like this kind of work. I can get you more. Oh, really? A lot more. Oh. Uh -huh. You think you can handle running with my, uh, associates? Oh, hell yes. Um, if you think they can handle me. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. There you go. I like you. your style. All right. I'll call ahead and get a hold of Neva Mora. Neva She's Mora. second to the big boss himself. Head out to Europa. You'll oh. find her there. I suggest you listen to whatever she has to say. Oh, and I've taken care of that Aurora shipment for you, too. Don't spend all that cash in one place. Hello. Ooh. Excellent to see you. Andreja, are you okay? Is everything all right? You keep making random comments, and it's, it's very concerning. Okay, come on, let's go to Europa. Baby, I like stuff. They like my style. Okay, let's go. Wow. Look who finally had the guts to show up. Looks like Adler finally did something right for once. All right. So, big shot. I hear Adler thinks you're good enough to join our crew. Oh. Oh. Adler said that? I didn't know he cared. Yeah. <laughs> Remember that. So, before I put you to work, let's get everything out in the open. Go for it. I don't know if Adler mentioned it, and for his sake, I hope he hasn't. But you aren't about to sign up with any average pirate crew. Oh, yawn. You're signing up with the Crimson Fleet. That's if you get through this little task I have planned for you. What task? There's a medical supply ship called the Ragana. Jumping into Enceladus's orbit. Mm -hmm. On board that ship, you'll find a traitor named Austin Rake. I want him dead. Oh, you do, do you? Um. What options do I have to complete this job? Yeah. Kill Rake. That's your only option. Mm -hmm. If you want my advice, there's only one way to guarantee he dies. Turn the Ragana into space junk. Only way to be sure. Well. Yeah, why not hunt him down yourself? There's a lesson in this. I need you to learn what'll happen if you decide to turn your back on the fleet. Oh, God. Consider it your glimpse into a possible unfortunate future. So you better pay close attention. Do you know what? Fine. It's done when Rake stops breathing. Ugh. Head back here when you're finished. And don't keep me waiting for long. This Neva Mora, her words are measured and carry weight. She is not to be trifled with. Alright. Um. How can you be sure he's on there? Yeah. I've been tracking Rake for months. He's making it tough, not gonna lie. Mm. He changes his location and identity so often, it's costing me a small fortune just to keep tabs. But you know what? It's worth every damn cred. He's made me look like a fool in front of Delgado, and I'm gonna have his head on a pike. Well... I mean, all right, can can I just, like, go? I know why you want... Well, yeah, why do you want him dead? Rake used to run with the fleet. Uh-huh. 
Hell, I'm the one who vouched for him in the first place. Back then he had a different name and a different identity. He was a damn good earner, too. Brought in a ton of creds. Everything was fine until he wanted out. So he ran. And nobody... I mean, nobody... runs away from the fleet. Well, that's fine. I'm out. Okay, well... It's been emotional, I'm sure. There we go. That's where we want to go. This way, this way, this way. Why oh, want this damn thing? There you go. And off we go. Hello. Oh! Alright. Um You've a crewman on board I'm looking for. Alright. And what are your intentions with this crewman? I want to talk to him. Fleet wants Austin Rake dead. I'd like to board your ship and talk about how to spare him. Here's how it's gonna happen. You're gonna open your hatch and I'm gonna go on board. I only have one demand to kill him. Do that and I'll let you go. Attack, wrong answer, Austin Rake. Yeah, let's try and spare him. I know he's... he's... Yeah. Oh, God. I do not know. There you go, Andrager liked it, so I must be doing something right. Hello? Dude, come on now. Don't make this difficult. This is Dmitry Moldovsky, pilot of the Ragana. We are medical supply ship headed for New Homestead. We don't want any trouble. No, I don't. I just want to talk to the dude. All right. And what are your intentions with this crewman? <laughs> Look. Oh, God. I do not know. Well... It would be wise for you to take this offer. It shows more mercy than you know. There you go, Andreja. Well... Normally, I would say no, but frankly, it will be safer for us that way. There you go. All right, you can dock. We will talk then. Okay. Thank God for that. Oh, okay. Oh, jeez. Thought we were going to crash then. I would rather spare people, you know. I mean, I don't know whether he did anything bad, but I mean, this is it. We don't know. All right. Let's get aboard. Any adventure you can fly away from. Is is that how the saying goes? I mean, it's not, Andre, but, but, but that's fine. Look at bowls. Bowls are having a dance. All right. Nothing else in here. Hmm. Okay. Leo. All right, what are you going to do with that when I have like this? Hello? Good God. I am not sure what to make of you being here. Oh. If you wanted to kill us, you could have done that from your ship. Certainly could. If you wanted our cargo, we could have jettisoned it. Yep. I guess I should just stop talking and let you say your piece. <sighs> I don't know who's listening over comms. This is safer, it is. That is true. Which means you don't want somebody to know what you are really up to. Mm -hmm. Now, do you mind telling us what this is all about? The fleet won't rake dead, but I want to resolve this without violence. What else? You really do not know which one of us is rake, do you? No. And you do not seem to care either, which makes me think you really want to save him. It's gonna be this dude. Okay, I have idea. We can strike his name from manifest, make it so he was never on board. Hmm. Then, when we dock, we will leave him on this ship and deliver him to another port. That could work. Hmm. Deliver him to Sis Death. If the fleet find out about this deal, we're both exposed, yeah? That is fair. We do not want any part of the fleet. All right. Is that all right with you, Austin? Do I have a choice? Oh, so this is Austin. It does not okay. appear you do. No. Well then, it is agreed. 
You go back to your ship, and we will make sure Rake was never on ours. All right. And in case any of your handlers get suspicious, here. We had an extra crate of supplies loaded, in case one got damaged. This should be proof you were not here to bargain. All right. What? Less unpleasantness aside, the people of New Homestead will be grateful for these supplies. All right. So you're the fleet's new dog, huh? What are you doing? Some bloody yoga? Be careful around the fleet. Can I? They talk about family, but it's just a bunch of crap. Mm. Thank you for letting us go. I thought we were dead. I can't believe it. All right, well, do you know what? It's medical supplies, isn't it? It's of no use to us. There's the frontier. Yep. Andreju, let's um, let's get out. I've had enough of this affair. Good lord. Okay. So we were able to spare his life. Just I don't know what he did, but... Well... I don't know. I won't just... just I don't know. Let's go. I've got to be sneaky sneaky. This is espionage, folks. Espionage. Alright. Uh, this way. Here. Well, I don't want the bloody thing, do I? Oh, God. This way. Aha. Uh -huh. There we go. Can we travel to Saturn? I don't know why we want to travel to Saturn, but. Oh, good Lord, where is this woman? Woman, where are you, you bloody, I don't know. Well, after all, you just don't know how to take a hit. Hey, Brooke, want to help me with some target practice? Yeah, all right. Okay. Can I, can I? Supposed to be helping us, her aim is different. Okay. All right, there you go. Might as well gather up the scrap. Why not? Stiletto. What a thing to call your ship. A stiletto. Like a like a high heel shoe. Except they were the ones that got walked all over. <laughs> terrible, terrible, yes. Thank you. Oh, did we not loot it all? Oh. oh, there's a little bit. Oh, shit parts. Okay. Alright. Let's um uh... whoops. Let's have a little conversation then. Hello. Thanks for the help with the cliptic. No problem. I had it under control. No, you didn't. But it definitely went faster after you jumped into the fight. You did nothing. Now tell me about the Ragana. Give me some good news, then we can go celebrate. Well, Austin Rake is dead. Dead. The Ragana survived. Yeah. Huh. No kidding. That'll make Delgado happy, seeing as our hands are clean. Uh huh. I would have preferred if you hadn't left witnesses behind, but at least you got the job done. Anyway, you wanted into the Crimson Fleet? Well, you're in. Yep, 
It's that simple. Hmm. Well, this business with Rakes taught you something. Because I'm about to stick my neck out and vouch for you. Vouch away, if baby. If you screw up and I wind up looking like an asshole, I'm gonna send someone after you. We clear? Crystal. Hmm. About damn time. I stole that crap before you make me change my mind. Madam. Now that you know the deal, it's time to see what you signed up for. Yeah, let's get on with it. I'm gonna upload the coordinates for our headquarters in the Crick system. Spacers call it the key. The fleet calls it home. All right. Head out there as soon as you can. Don't keep me waiting long. Ugh. Joining the Crimson Fleet is hardly a cause for celebration. No. But you have your reasons. So for now, I will allow it. All right, Andrea, don't, don't, don't start getting all judgy on me. I'll start calling you Sarah Morgan if you do that. Good lord. All right, let's, let's, let's go. God, can I just get around you, please? Excuse me. Thank you. What, are we supposed to talk to these dudes? Oh, sorry. I didn't realise we were supposed to talk to these dudes. Are we really? Board the... Board the vigilance? All right. Okay, all right, all right. Okay. Let's do it, then. I thought we were gonna go and go and meet the, the the Crimson Fleet people. <sighs> I don't know. I'm starting to think we're just a a pawn in a very big I game find of chess. The interior of this ship comforting. This ship in particular. Hi. Hi, Vasco. Please disregard. I attempted an informal greeting, but I am dissatisfied with the results. Yeah. Yeah, Andreja, we don't like this ship. We got taken prisoner on this ship. Oh, we're going in here. Okay. Yes, and they've forced us now to do some work. The Vigilance is our flagship. Where it goes, fleet run. Good for you. All right, dude. You want to talk? Let's talk. Do you have anything to report? We got the message from the Regana about Austin Rick. We had him dropped off at a separate port, off the books. Well, suffice to there say, you go. he's got a lot to answer for. Mm hmm. Hmm. I am glad he surrendered. I didn't want to kill anybody because they were just innocent folks, weren't they? So. That's a smart line to follow. Part of this role you're playing means having to make hard choices. Ugh. Just remember not to lose yourself in the part. We did our best not to cross the line, but the more we do, the more we risk exposing the deception. Yeah. Oh, one more thing before we move on. For transparency's sake, you should know we were the ones that hired Ecliptic to attack Neva's ship. There was concern after what happened with the Regana that you might have trouble earning Neva's trust. Coming to her rescue ensured that would not be a problem. Yeah. Um. It was a risky move. Truly. What if we'd have died? But a gamble that hopefully paid off. Yeah. On that note, how did things go with Neva? Were you able to join the fleet? Yes. Yeah, it does seem like I passed their initial test. Then it worked. Mm -hmm. You're in. Sounds like everything is going as expected. Now it's time for the next phase of the mission. Our intel on Searsha was correct. After sure, we received Searsha. reports on your interaction with Adler Kemp, we picked up on your rendezvous with Neva Mora. Our files indicate she's second in command, so getting on a good side will ensure you get into the Crimson Fleet. <sighs> what do you know about her? Yeah, what do you know about a her? A woman has a record that could stretch across Seoul and back. She started young as one of Neon Street Rats and worked her way up to second in command. So she's a busy lady. She's a force to be reckoned with. 
So don't underestimate her. Never plan to. All right. Um. Yeah. Yes. You pass your first test and you're still alive. Uh huh. But before we get too confident, that either means she suspects nothing, or she intends to make an example of you later. Just remember, these are ruthless criminals. So don't let your guard down. And their ruthlessness is only surpassed by their cunning. You should proceed with caution, regardless of how well you think you've ingratiated yourself. So what's next for you on Neva's agenda? Um... Yeah, she told me to meet her at the key. Where you'll meet Delgado, no doubt. Maybe. Delgado is the leader of the Crimson Fleet. I have a profile here with some information on his background. You'll want to know the individual cadences of every member of the fleet, but Delgado's most of all. What is there to know? Oh, he is pirate scum, like all of them. Exactly. <laughs> the Crimson Fleet is not a monster. Jesus, I got a lot of reading to Any do. Any information you have on its members can only help. All right. In any case, now that you're with the fleet, you'll be operating independently. Well, thank God. We will shadow you eventually. But we'll need to maintain our distance for now, especially while you're on the key. This will also give us time to bolster our defenses, should we need to engage with the fleet in the future. Sir, on that note, shall we begin implementing the upgrade to our shields? Immediately, Lieutenant. Notify the engineers and relay the information to the crew. I hope your entry into the fleet has overcome any doubts you may have had regarding your mission. It certainly increased my estimates on success. Keep up the good work. We'll expect further reports. Dismissed. Well, at least they've finally decided to stop the babysitting me all the time. I might as well give her this info. Things are progressing rather quickly. Yeah. Good. The more you find, the stronger our case. Um. You might want to raise the alarm at Hopetown. The fleet's planning a raid on Hopetown? Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. I didn't expect them to be so bold, but I suppose desperate times call for desperate measures. Don't worry. I'll circulate the description of this captain to the authorities on Hopetown and make sure they never set foot in that settlement. Have any more? Um. With that base on Crete? What's that? Okay. I have to hand it to Naval. Oh, hey! Ladies thorough. That facility on Crete still holds a good bit of valuable resources and equipment. Mm hmm. All right. Can't do much with this one except pass it over to the military. Hopefully, they stop denying the base's existence and do something about it. Yeah. That it? That's all I have. All for right. Now. Keep up the good work. Okay. Well. Good luck on the key. At least she um, paid us for our info. Can't you just tell that we've been here? This is like Evie was here. Might as well be written on the wall. Come on, Andrea Joe, let's get off this ship. Hello. Goodbye. All right, well, let's uh, get back Captain. on the ship. Hello. Good to be back in our own ship. Oh, it, it is. Does it seem bigger? Am I tripping out on that? Must be just losing hey, my mind. Anyway, you? I'm very well, Helen. Very well, my dear. All right. Yes, um... We are going to leave it there for this time. Next time we will uh, head on over to the key and see what we can see at the key. So until next time, be safe, be good, and look after yourselves.